Hi everyone! For today's video, I'm going to be doing the tag video. I don't really think that they call them tag videos anymore because like no one's tagging anybody. I don't know, just that one video that's going around right now where people are doing their dream $1,000 Sephora carts and not purchasing them. I wonder if Sephora is going to sponsor anyone to like actually do this, like actually give them $1,000 to spend and like do a video on that because like Sephora like I would I'd really like that like I'd really like to be able to do that for you but anyway this is my dream Sephora cart I was able to get exactly a thousand dollars in my cart and before taxes I'm sure taxes will add a hefty number onto my final total. By the way, before we get started, if you like the look that I'm wearing right now, I do have a tutorial up already on it, and I will leave it linked down below. The only thing that's different is my lips, because I just got my Fenty Beauty, what, what were these called? It had like a really long name. Shiny, slip, shine, sheer, shiny lipstick in Cookies and Cocoa. And this shit looks cute. It looks really cute. So let's go ahead and get started. I do already have everything in my cart. Um, I know I watched Amanda Z's video on this and she did the shopping with us. She did the shopping in her video. I felt like that video would be too long if I did that and I wasn't really sure, like I wasn't completely sure on what items I would want to pick out. But yeah, I'm looking at everything now and this totally is like my dream cart. So let's go through each and every one of these. So the first product that I have in my cart is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 Foundation. I picked out the shade 11. I love that Sephora already knows my shade match for like any, for like any complexion product I pick out. They always know what shade I'll be. Just because I've probably bought so many foundations from Sephora in the past, foundations and concealers, they kind of take that information. And the first shade on any foundation or concealer on the Sephora website is already like perfectly matched for me. So that makes shopping so easy on Sephora. So yeah, I would pick shade 11, which is medium tan with neutral undertones. Um, I'm super interested in trying this guy out and I have swatched the shades before in person and I couldn't really decide like which one would be fitting for me so I ended up passing it up but if I had a thousand dollars to spend like I'd pick it up I'd try it the next product is the hourglass ambient lighting bronzer I have wanted one of these for so long. I actually have a lot of hourglass in my cart. This is the Luminous Bronze in Light because it is ideal for light medium complexions. And that's usually what I go for in bronzers. I don't love my bronzers to be too, too dark because I do end up getting lighter in the winter time. So I do like using a bronzer that I can use sort of all year round. And these just look so beautiful. I feel like if I was to actually buy this bronzer one day, it would probably become my holy grail. I just never have gotten one before because of that hefty price tag. However, I am pretty interested in maybe one day picking up the smaller version because for $26, I feel that's not too, too bad to try something that I've always been wanting to try. Plus, I can't imagine that I would ever truly go through one of these just because of the amount of makeup that I own. The only product that I actually have on here for like a restock is my Urban Decay All Nighter and I picked out the jumbo size. I actually currently am in desperate need for another all nighter. I have one bottle left but it probably has about that much left in the bottle and I just, I use that stuff up. There is not another setting spray I like more than my Urban Decay All Nighter. So I definitely would buy one of those. So the next product is the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad Eyeshadow. And I have this one in Golden Mink. So I actually don't wear gold eyeshadows all that often anymore. However, this Tom Ford quad has been in my Sephora loves for ages. I have wanted this guy for years now. I don't know, I think I might have seen maybe like Chloe Morello use this in a tutorial years back and it looked absolutely stunning. It looked like 
The eyeshadow just looked effortless and shiny and glittery and just, it looked seamless. It was so beautiful. I really think I would love a product like this. It's just the $88 price tag is so freaking high. And I don't know, like if I was ever going to actually pick up one of these, I definitely think I would have to have like a gift card or something. But yeah, the Golden Mink in this quad I've always always wanted so this product right here the I, I think it's just called day uh, daily conditioner I did put the shampoo in my cart as well they're not next to each other though because I had to refresh my cart but I just think that this looks really cute I think it would look really adorable in my shower I also think that the Instagram page for this brand is so cute and like aesthetic and that really is why I would be buying this conditioner and shampoo just for the aesthetics um and yeah, I guess it's clean at Sephora too, so it probably has good ingredients. Another Hourglass product I would be purchasing is the Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Radiant Magenta. So you might be thinking that like this shade isn't something that I typically would wear, but this product has also been in my loves for ages because years and years and years ago, I went to a Ulta and the Urban Decay brand rep was there and he was so cool. Like I just thought that he was the coolest thing and I was also like a little bit younger. I maybe was in middle school or like, or like very early high school and he was so cool. His makeup was so cool and we were just talking. We were just talking about like makeup and I was talking to him about how I love makeup so much and how I loved Urban Decay so much and we were talking about like other brands and I guess like the topic of Hourglass might have come up and he was telling me that he used to be a brand rep for Hourglass, but then he now is working with Urban Decay. And he was telling me that the Radiant Magenta blush would look amazing on me. And of, of course I was gonna listen to him and I've never forgotten. I've always been interested in picking up this blush shade because of that conversation that I had with that guy. Um, but I've never done it. I've never bought it. It's just super expensive. $40 for a blush is so expensive. But one day I feel like I will own it. And yeah, I definitely put it in the cart because, you know, the memes. So I do have a perfume. I think that the replica perfumes, the bottles are gorgeous. I also know a lot of people on YouTube talk about them. $130 though is really expensive. I feel like I would have to have like a gift card or maybe a coupon or something for me to buy one of these, but this is so beautiful. But just going off the fragrance description of the Flower Market fragrance, I feel I would like that one a lot. I definitely would have to smell it in stores first, but I did want to put a fragrance on here because, you know, I have $1,000, why not? I do have an Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. I picked the shade Burnish. I think these are drop dead gorgeous. I love eyeshadows like this. I feel like they really do complete a look. They really are like show stopping. You can wear something like this and people will 100% ask you what is on your eyelid. And I think a shade like this is really wearable but also can be a little bit more dramatic. So I love something like that and burnish is totally something that I would pick up. I do have a skincare product. I have a couple of products in my cart from Youth to the People. The first one is the Superfood Antioxidant Cleanser. I feel this looks really cute. I was just in the middle of watching a Julia Adams video, skincare video, and she uses this product. It kind of reminds me of the Rayel Beauty Cleanser that I actually just finished an entire bottle of, and I picked up another one to go through through again because I have been loving the Rayelle Beauty skincare. I actually want to do a review on the skincare line on my channel because I've been really, really enjoying it and my skin has been looking really good if I do say so myself. But I also do find myself having to change up my skincare every so often so I feel like maybe Youth to the People will be something that I try next and I'm super interested in this superfood cleanser. So the next product that I have is this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Collection Eyeshadow. I really like the tones in this little eyeshadow quad. I think I would get a lot of use out of it and it's just really cute. But for $53, I probably would never pick it up unless I did, you know, have free money, a thousand dollars to spend. The next product that is in my cart is the Natasha Denona Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. 
This is a newer guy. I think that this eyeshadow palette is phenomenal. I love that Natasha Denona made this eyeshadow palette $65 instead of her like whopping $120 or something crazy like that. I think that this palette has some beautiful, beautiful tones in it. And I totally could see myself using just about every single eyeshadow in this entire palette. But yeah, it's still $65, and honestly, for the amount of eyeshadow palettes I have in my collection and for the amount of times of the month that I wear eyeshadow, it's really not that worth it for me to keep buying eyeshadow palettes even though I really love them and I want all of them and this one would be such an amazing addition to my collection. But I don't know if I would spend $65 on this eyeshadow palette right now. Not right now. But it is in my dream cart because I do love it and maybe one day I will pick it up. But yeah. For right now, it's staying in my dreams. So the next product that I have is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I picked out the Dim Light shade. I feel like this is probably their most popular shade, and I feel like it would look the most flattering on my skin tone. I feel like this powder would be my dream highlighter. I feel it would just make my skin look ethereal, like so dreamy. I really, really want to own one of these. Again, they do have them in minis. I think I might pick up a mini one day. I feel like that'd be a really good option for me because $48 for this is so expensive. The next product that I have is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I picked this product out in the shade 3W1 Bisque. It's a medium warm. I've always, always wanted to try this, even back in like the old YouTube days when Blair Fowler would use this all the time on her oily, acne-prone skin, and like me, an oily, acne-prone teenager, was like desperate for anything that Blair Fowler ever talked about on her channel, and I never ended up getting one of these. I do know that Laura Mercier is starting to be like really sold in Ulta's, so I am hoping to get my hands on that one day, but like with my disc count. So the next product is the Day Daily Shampoo. I already talked about the conditioner and why I was getting the conditioner and the shampoo, so I won't talk about this for too, too long. But yeah, I just think that they're really cute. I think that they would look really nice in the shower. I don't know. I haven't. I mean, let's look at the reviews real quick. Yeah, girl, obsessed. This Catherine does not like it. Don't believe the negative reviews. I always believe the person who always says don't believe the negative reviews because I'm always under the assumption that anyone who leaves a negative review on like Sephora or Ulta didn't use the product properly or didn't use it long enough. Best shampoo ever, I want it. I want it so bad. I will, I will buy that one day, for sure. So the next product I have is Youth to the People Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask with Vitamin C. I love an overnight mask. I think overnight masks are so lovely. And I love the fact that this has vitamin C in it and it is a hydrating mask. Those are two things that I just eat up. I love vitamin C and I love hydration, even though I'm an oily skinned girl. But I honestly feel like my skin would react so well to something like this. Oh, it just looks so luxurious. I want to try it so bad. So yeah, that's one product that I would definitely purchase with my $1,000. I do have a Charlotte Tilbury cheek to chic blush. I picked out the shade The Climax, which is a ready brown. I feel that would look really flattering on my skin tone. I've always wanted to try one of these, but none of them really stuck out to me like shade-wise. Why are these not changing color? But I think the ready brown would look good on me, so that's the one I would pick. These from Wander Beauty are new, the Double Date Lip and Cheek Tint. I picked out the one Sweet Talker. Um, slash swipe. Are they both? Oh yeah. It comes with a clear and it comes with a tint. I'm guessing the clear is probably like a moisturizing balm type texture, but this is a newer product. I've actually been thinking about reaching out to Wander Beauty. I reached out to them a while ago asking if they would send me stuff for a full face and they never got back to me, but you know, doesn't hurt to ever send a second email and I definitely feel like this product is something that people would be interested in. That double date lip and cheek tint is definitely in my dream cart. 
And also Youth to the People Superfood Air Whipped Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. I feel I would also really like a product like this, just like a daily moisturizer. I don't love that the products are in jars. I do know that they're probably in glass jars, so they're probably a little bit better for the environment and recyclable. But I don't know. I'm always kind of iffy about skincare in jars because of all the bacteria that could get in them. And especially because I don't go through product as much as I probably should because I'm constantly trying new things. So having a bunch of skincare just open all the time is probably not the most hygienic. So I do prefer when things are in pumps, but I do see the benefit of having things in a glass jar. We're getting to the end of my cart. I looks like I have two more Hourglass blushes. This one in, I honestly do not know how to say that word. In Cancidence. I'm really sorry. I know you guys did not sign up to have someone stupid just up here talking. In Candescent. Incandescent. Incandescent. That doesn't sound like a real word. Googled it and it's incandescent. And that's who they're giving four year degrees to. Anyway, I think that this shade would be really cute. It's a cute peachy shade. I feel it would look flattering on my skin tone. And then the other one that I have picked out is the Nude Brilliant, which I think would look extra beautiful on my skin tone. I love blush shades like this, and I feel uh, the marble effect on these blushes is just gorgeous. And I think that they would give off just the most healthy looking glow. So I really do want to try these powders one day. They are just so expensive. And then the last product that I have in my $1,000 cart is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I did pick it out in the medium dark, but I don't know. I'm kind of thinking fair medium could also be good. I would be afraid of the medium dark would be too dark. It doesn't look like there's a whole bunch of difference between these two, but it's in my fantasy cart, so I guess I don't have to think about it that much. But yeah, this is it. This is my entire cart of things I would buy from Sephora if I had $1,000 to spend. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of everything that is in my fantasy, my dream Sephora cart. Let me know if there's any products in there that you really, really think that I should just go ahead and purchase. But that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I love filming these types of things. I think that they're so fun. Let me know in the comments down below what your dream Sephora cart would look like. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so. And hopefully I see you next time.